This option means that when we receive the wastewater from your homes and businesses at our treatment plant, we'll treat it and then discharge it to the Manawatu River the majority of the time. This is the most similar option to what we do now, but under this option we'd be making significant improvements to our treatment. Here are the things that are important to know about this option. This wastewater would have the highest treatment in all of New Zealand, with even more advanced removal of nitrogen and phosphorus than we do now. This would help reduce some periphyton growth in the river, which can impact freshwater species. We'd put some treated wastewater on land. This would occur in summer when the river levels are low. We believe we'd need about 670 hectares of land for this. This makes us confident we can meet freshwater guidelines in the Regional 1 plan. We'd still use our existing treatment plant, but it would need significant upgrades for the new treatment levels. We'd also need a pipe network to move the treated wastewater to the land application site. We'd also build a bigger wetland or land passage for the treated water to run through before entering the river. Climate change wouldn't have a significant impact on this option. And we could look at taking other councils' wastewater too, as long as they treat it up to our consent standards before it gets to our plant. This option has smaller upfront infrastructure costs than some of the other options, but the operational costs for this option are considered high due to the energy and labour costs of operating a sophisticated treatment plant. We estimate this option would cost ratepayers an additional $440 per year. But there are some trade-offs. We know our community loves our river, and we know that many won't want treated wastewater in our awa. People may refrain from recreational activities as a result. The discharge of even highly treated wastewater could negatively impact the modi or life force of the river, and impact the mana of iwi, who are kaitiaki, or guardians of the river. Reaching ever-evolving freshwater standards will be complex, but we believe we can do that with the right technology. To find out about the other discharge options and to have your say, head to naturecalls.nz.